everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video, I'm working on a 2015 Infiniti Q50. I had a customer bringing a car. Um, he's getting headlight system error on the dash, and the, there's nothing wrong with the lights. He purchased one of the headlights on eBay, and uh, he's not sure what's going on, but there is everything functions the way it should, except that message. But anyway, I'll show you exactly what to do. You don't have to remove bumper. You don't have to remove headlights. You could uh, get access from the back. Just remove, uh, just remove part, uh, just the part of uh, air intake on both sides. And I'll show you what to do. So let me demonstrate you what's going on. I'm gonna do a quick bypass to show you that it fixes the issue. There's no need to buy a thousand dollar headlight. But if I put my ignition on. There you go. Headlight system error. If you put a scan tool, you're not going to get any trouble codes. There won't be any DTCs. Okay? So check it out. Headlight system error. And it's doing what it's doing. No need for a headlight. So I'll show you. I'll look at the, I'll show you the schematic in a second. I'm going to turn the lights off. I'll show you what I have done. So this is the schematic right here. We're looking at the schematic. And as you could see, and different, like Nissan Rogue was uh, certain pins, uh, Infinity, it's different pins. Different uh, makes, like I said, different makes and models will have different pins. So that's why it's very important to look at the schematic. All right, if you could, if you take a look at uh, pin number two, and as you could see, it says headlamp warning signal, which is, this goes to the cluster, okay? And then if you look in the bottom here, pin number three, it goes to ground, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take pin number two and we're going to connect it to pin number three. What that's going to do, it's going to bypass it. We're not going to get that message on our cluster. So here's what I'm going to do right here. And also there is a, there's also a description of the, of the plug. So number two, pin number two, this is what the plug looks like with pins and you can see pin number two and pin number three have to be connected um, so all you have to do is just connect those two pins together and it should get rid of your message if you don't know which headlight it is you might need to do it on one headlight and if the message doesn't go away go to the next headlight because like I said you will not know which headlight causing the issue um, even if your car has never been an accident this is a very common problem so I have just to show you a quick bypass okay I have an alligator clip I'm going to put my lights here. I'll show you. I'm going to connect two pins together. So pin number two, which is, um, it's the violet. And pin number three, it's a black and yellow, as you can see. I connected them just like that with an alligator clip on this side. And on this side, it's a different colors. It's going to be pin number two will be yellow and pin number three will be black and yellow so one wire is the same make sure you have a good continuity you could see what i did i just bypassed that and right now i'm going to turn my ignition on put my lights on and you will see there'll be no more message watch this I got the maintenance. I got the warning because the door is open. But there's no more message for headlight system error. Um, there's you could you if you want to be if you don't want to mess with the wiring side on the engine on the uh, car side, then you could do that on the headlight side. This way, if you just you know get rid of the car or sell the car. Um, the wiring on the engine side would be untouched. You could do it on the headlight side, okay? So you don't really have to. Or what you could do, just like I did in Nissan Rogue, and I'll show you in a second, you can just put a little jumper wire so you don't have to slice or cut any wiring, and I'm gonna demonstrate that, that just in a second. All right, if you don't wanna mess with any of the wiring, if you don't wanna cut it, you don't wanna uh, 
to short it on the engine side, which you could do, just like what I did with the Nissan Rogue in the other video. Take any wire, strip it about, about an inch, strip insulation. If you find a finer wire, you know, smaller gauge, then you don't have to do this. So basically, what I'll do, I'll just take, I'll split it, I'll just take two pieces, copper wire, but two pieces. What I'll do, I'll clip it off. So you can make, so you can make a jumper wire. So it's fine enough, so when you put it inside the pin, you can go ahead and connect the connector. And connector closes, you know, would close and lock in place. So I'll twist them up together just like that. And what I'm going to do, and as I showed you the wiring diagram, pin number two and pin number three, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make a little U-clip. I'm going to stick it in a U, just like this, make it as a U. Something like this. You're going to make something going to look like that. Okay. And all you have to do, you're going to have to stick it in a pin number two and pin number three. Just as I did. Just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. I'll show you in a second. There you go. As you can see, my connector is connected. It's all locked in place, and then I don't have to worry about the uh, worry about wiring. And uh, like I said, if you don't know which headlight, because the scan tool not gonna show you any trouble codes, you might need to do it to one headlight. And if you still have the error message, then you'll have to do it to the other headlight, um, or you could do it vice versa. You know. Once you do both of them, disconnect the other headlight and just leave the one headlight just to figure out which exactly uh, that's giving you an issue. So well, once again, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick Automotive.